Father, as we go into the word briefly, we ask for understanding, light, and transformation. We appreciate you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right, so let's get into the study today. Um, we have two more on patience. So today we're looking at um, enduring till fulfillment. That's another thing that patience helps. Faith with. It helps me to endure until there is fulfillment. Until there's fulfillment. It helps faith to endure. Until there's fulfillment. So we're going to read um, a couple of scriptures this morning. Okay. Hebrews in chapter 6. And um, verse 12, he said that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promise. It takes a combination of faith and patience to, to inherit the promise. It's a combination of faith and patience. All right. And then in Hebrews in chapter 12, um, remember Jesus, verse 2 says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and he sat down on the right hand of the Most High. All right. So, um, um, I would quickly just read through so that we can finish. Our time is almost spent. Faith is one of the most important tools on this side of heaven. And faith as a companion that gives faith the necessary support needed to deliver the promise of God for the believer. The cooperation, um, sorry, this companion of faith is patience. It's one of the attributes that helps the believer wielding faith to remain in the status of faith until the fulfillment of the promises of God. The patriarchs operated in patience. One of the virtues of patience is its ability to help the bearer to endure all odds until the promise is delivered. Patience helps the bearer of it to have the strength to stay in any uncomfortable situation or circumstance and still be rejoicing until the salvation appears or arrives. Now, basically what this study is about is that patience gives faith something, the support to remain focused in believing or in having believed in declaring what is not as if it is and acting to see it come to pass and remaining in the position of rejoicing as if it has already happened. Even when the terrain is bad and tough and frustrating. Patience. Remember the patience of Joseph. The guy was doing good and he was just being faithful. And this woman offered herself and she, he refused. And for that, he went to prison. That could have sent some people into depression. But he didn't allow that environment to change his position. He maintained. So even though he was going through prison, he endured it. Holding on to the hope that was before him. He continued to be who he is. Helping people. He helped the jailer to organize the prison. And everybody was fine. He helped the butler and the baker to interpret their dreams. You know, it just continued. Patience is what gives you the capacity to endure uncomfortable situations until faith delivers the miracle. And that's one of the reasons why patience is needed. Because sometimes the situations can really be bad. Sometimes it's okay, it's smooth, and you're just believing God, and you're believed and everything, and you're just waiting for it to happen, and then it happens. But sometimes the tide can go crazy. The tide can go really bad. Patience is what keeps you standing firm 
unchangeable. And that's why we need to constantly labor to develop patience. Like we're studying about it, we're developing. When you go through challenges and you exercise yourself in the path of patience, you grow in it. You master patience. And once you have mastered it, there's no miracle you can receive because all things become possible for you. It is well with you. Pray with me and say, Father, I receive grace of patience, the enduring grace of patience to endure even uncomfortable situations until faith delivers my miracle. I receive grace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Glory to God. Speak into your day, and if today is your birthday, please get into the comment quickly or wedding anniversary and let us know so I can pray for you before I go now. Speak into your day quickly, 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 quickly. Speak into your day, speak into your day, speak into your day. Speak into your day, speak into your day. And if today is your birthday, please quickly type it in the comment section. Let's uh, pray for you. We give God the praise, we give God the glory and honor and adoration. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So if today is your birthday, today is Dami Lola's birthday, Sister Abby's daughter. Okay, so we're praying for Dami Lola. Father, let your blessing be upon Dami Lola in the name of Jesus. I feel the compassion of God going towards Dami Lola. Dami Lola, you are blessed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Lord brings you into the place of awakening. Awakening into purpose, awakening into your strength, awakening into God's grace on your life. Receive that in the name of Jesus. Receive wisdom to excel, receive strength to prevail in the name of Jesus. The Lord plants the right things and the right people around your life. This new year in the name of Jesus. The Lord also gives you visitations upon visitations. Yes, the Lord awakens you in the spirit. Yes, your strength and spiritual capacity awakens in the name of Jesus. You are blessed in Jesus' mighty name. We are prayed glory to God. Hallelujah. All right, let me see if there's any other birthdays. My sister's birthday. Oye Yemi Oshi. All right, so we're going to pray for Oye Yemi. Father, we pray for Oye Yemi. Today is Oye Yemi's birthday. Your daughter, bless her with your strength. Bless her with your ability. Yes, Oyemi is in the garden of the Lord. So Oyemi should spend more time in intimacy. This new year is a year of visitations of God. And there will be visitations personal. There will be visitations of, on the works of our ends. Receive the blessing of God. Receive the support of heaven. It's a year of on. A, a, an unusual favor for you, Oyeyemi, be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, so we are prayed for Oyeyemi, we are prayed for Dami Lola, and um, I think we got everybody. Okay, good. So we thank God for his mercies. Don't forget to document that Second Corinthians 8 to 9. Share with your children and your children's children. Tell them that's the covenant of riches over their lives, they can never be in poverty. They will always be in wealth. Their path will always lead to where greatness is and where abundance is. They will never be, in, be stranded. Never, never, never. Can never, 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 never happen. All right? Share with them and um, let them have it and tell them to share with their own children after them. And the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. All right, with this, we come to the close of PhD this morning. We're putting out some short-term videos. We're trying to promote more of our content. So please, when you see them, help us to share them. Put them on your status. Please do that, all right? You are helping us. I mean, I mean, things are happening, you know, great things are happening. This message is going to places, okay? And don't worry, we're, we're still going to reach every language and tongue. One day on PhD, just watch it. I've seen it. One day on PhD, as we're broadcasting like this, they'll be hearing us in every language on earth, every language. Real time, all right? They may just be like maybe two, three seconds or five seconds delay because the software that would do that is coming or has come, all right? 
So we just put it in, I'm speaking English, and then somebody in India is enemy in their language, somebody in Russia is enemy in their language, and we are all just fellowshipping with God, all right? Every tongue and tribe will hear about intimacy with God, and God will have people in the communion from every tongue and tribe and every family on earth. It is the will of God and is happening in our eyes, okay? So help us spread the word and the news. So when you see those short-term teasers, reels, you know, just share them and the Lord bless you. Shalom, shalom. I encourage you to watch the message on Sunday, Arriving in Faith. It's on Paul Olashiri on YouTube. And make sure you subscribe to all these channels, okay? The Lord bless you. Shalom, shalom. Shalom.